Yeah, uh, we that are... frightens me too because every time I forget what that is. Yeah. Uh, we are live. Oh, hello everyone. Just as a reminder, I am an employee of Blizzard Entertainment and all opinions are that of my own and not Activision or Blizzard. And if Nick and Ashley join us, same thing goes for them. Yeah. That's real good. Yeah. Yeah. I got that like two sentences down. Good for me. Proud of you. Yeah. I can do things. Hmm. I don't know how 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 much you, you're. Like, do you, are you, do you, are you a big film buff? You know, you know, you keep up with the movie t the movie news. Uh, no, I'm not a film buff at all. In fact, I'm the person that everyone goes, "How have you not seen that movie?" Or how do you not know who that actor is that I'm talking about? And then I look stupid and feel really lame. Oh, you should get with Dylan. Dylan knows one actor, and he thinks every actor is this actor. What actor is it? Uh, I want to say it's Brad Pitt. <laughs> he just thinks everybody's Brad Pitt? That is correct. I one time asked him, like, hey, Dylan, you know who's in this movie? And he legitimately thought it was Brad Pitt every single time. I asked him, like, 13 <laughs> movies. And then on the very last one... It was actually Brad Pitt, and he finally guessed something else. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dylan doesn't know shit about movies either. I feel Wait, like I have all these really common... Movie, I'm, well, I'm not anymore, because it won't make any sense to you. Um, you can pretend. But it's pretty obvious when I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm just like, okay... Physics. I mean, we can talk about. I, I can just kind of tell you what it is. I was gonna, I was gonna mention that I'd seen the Neil Blomkamp short movie project that he was doing, but like it's not like the the name and that idea probably mean nothing to you. Nope. Uh, let's just go here. Jump. Uh, I may have jumped a little early. That's fine. Well, it's something you're excited about, though. Oh, I'm was, excited for you. It was okay. I thought we could talk about it if it was something that you were interested in, but... Oh, no. We probably don't have any similar interests, Jake. I mean, what Like, are you... if you're interested in it, you can probably guess that I know nothing about it. I don't feel like I have very uncommon interests. I like games and anime and I don't movies have any and interests. politics. And, like, I feel I like, like those are all the things that I can find on the internet. I like uh, social media nice. and graphic design. Those are those are the two parts of the internet I don't. I could even do like animals. I also like like female rap beefs and um, bad reality TV that is super uh, scripted. Yeah, these are all. Yeah, like, so I'm sure those are all things that are very important to you. Those are none of not one of those things I could, I could <laughs> even remotely. Con I mean, I like I I do know a lot about. TV and film because of, of my one of my other interests. Like I could probably like keep up with you if you wanted to talk about The Bachelor, but it's not it, it's not like I couldn't be like, oh man, I can't believe what Jamie did last week or something. Like I don't know any that shit. Yeah, and like when I say, I mean really, I don't watch The Bachelor. I watch like Love and Hip Hop. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. I used to know a guy uh, my last job, no, two jobs ago, who was, uh, <laughs> it was a weird name. He's basically an editor for The Bachelor, but he wasn't, it wasn't, like, they didn't call him an editor, because what he basically did was they recorded, like, 400 hours of footage, and then he'd sit down at the end of the week and, like, write a narrative out of the scenes that he had and, like, decide that this was what the episode was about. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so that's that's how they get content for The Bachelor, if you were ever curious, is they really do film reality, but then the context around, like, why anything happens is basically entirely fabricated. And if they need a scene, they're like, hey, I need this to happen, they'll, like, set everybody down and be like, we need this thing to happen to bridge the gap between this scene and this. So, that's so crazy. I mean, I assumed that everything is fake, but entertaining. It's not so much But that's fake. kind of interesting. Yeah, it's they they do have some reality behind yeah, it. Yeah, I just and thought that it was just everybody... all like scripted stuff. So yeah. that's 
everybody plays it up, so it's like, you know, to say that it is scripted is not fair, really, but, I mean, it, it is certainly fake. Because well, I mean, everybody cool. knows they're on TV and they just want to leave it. So, I feel like that was the only thing that we will ever have in common interest-wise, was that one conversation. <laughs> <laughs> now we used it. But hey, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Man, I got some cool stuff. I also saw a guy and he didn't shoot me, so that was cool. I didn't uh, go try and shoot him, though. I figured, nah, he'll probably just kill me. I got a 4x scope if you want. I gotta want. be honest, that's probably, like, the biggest progression of your playstyle that I've ever seen. <laughs> like, you well, saw I didn't somebody have a gun. And you were like, I don't need to go fight him. Well, if I had a gun, I'm sorry to say, I'd be all over him. I mean, Even hey, if it was a pistol. That's still progress. I have definitely 100% seen you run at people with <laughs> nothing but your fists. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I just get impatient and things like this. I keep expecting for me to get better. But then I don't. I think the game is largely about tactics and like playing it correctly. Which like parts of it come down to being good at like shooting stuff, but I think the people who perform consistently well are doing like similar tactics to one another, and that's what, like, gets you over the big gap. I think that's the part that, uh, we are not doing. Uh, I, like I sure hope that we, that's true. The episode that we did just last time, where we were number two. Like, yeah, see... It's, it's very doable, we just have to, like, go into it with the mindset of actually winning the game, and not just, like, producing watchable content. But I guess, yeah. I, like, I don't even know if that's even accurate, because I was under the assumption nobody would want to watch... Two people hide around and sleep through buildings and then get to the end and be like, look at that, the number was higher than it was last time. Uh, but apparently this is like the most popular game on YouTube as well, which means people are just like tuning in and then sitting through the whole thing of content, which yeah, is very surprising to me. I would have assumed like maybe a highly edited like sizzle reel of this kind of thing, but not yeah. not just the full video. But apparently that's that's what's hot hot and happening right now. So goes to show what I know. So basically we can be boring. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's I, I, I would be getting to doubt myself at least in, in terms of that. I don't know if that's actually true. That was really quick to change your mind. I mean you just said that. No, no, no. I mean, I'm beginning to doubt my, my previous held beliefs about not trying to... about oh. not trying to not be boring. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I get really invested. Like, I've watched a few of these streams, especially before I was even playing the game. Mm -hmm. And even when it's super boring, and you're just, like, hiding in a bush, I don't know, it starts to build up, and you get, like, real invested. You drop my shotgun something. Because you just know that, you know, shit's about to hit the fan eventually. I was, like, really paying attention to the conversation I was having, mostly with myself there, where I was, like, trying to explain <laughs> my beliefs, and then I was like, oh, fuck, that didn't make any sense. Quick, change it. Uh, and I think I dropped my shotgun somewhere back here, which is not good. I like my shotgun. See, what I did just right there was, like, I said, having a conversation with myself, and then I was like, wait, that just... Completely cuts Haley out of that conversation. Quick, change it to explain yourself. <laughs> uh, so then you thought, I'll just bring a lot of attention to it. Right. Well, I don't. I'm not going to get embarrassed That'll about be it. That'll the solution. I just want I everybody to understand also. what I'm saying. Yeah, we wouldn't want worldwide confusion from our massive waves of viewers. Alan's out there. He's watching. <laughs> Oh, Alan! Well, like, at least the next couple of seconds, probably. <laughs> the helmet over like if you don't have one. I have 
Good stuff. Some what? There's a helmet over there in that building if you don't have one. Is it a level one? Yeah. Okay, I have that. I also have a scar, and I have a puffy jacket. I also have a puffy jacket. I, in fact, I have a tactical puffy jacket. Hey, this is that cornfield that I just, like, sat in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think we were, like, further to the northeast, but, yeah, this is where we, like, laid down and then just kind of scooted over to victory. Yeah. Funny how that worked. I don't have a suppressor or anything, so we wouldn't be able to repeat tactics like that again yet. I don't know. When I was alone and I made it to two, that's exactly what I did. Was I just, just sat there. Sat I just let people around. kill each other. Yeah. And I felt like there's got to be a life lesson here somewhere. I mean, that's 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 what I was saying earlier. Is like the, the way to consistently perform well in this game is just to think about it less as confrontational and more about survival. But I don't know. I, I don't know if that's entertaining. I wouldn't watch it, but then I wouldn't watch this content at all. So what, what the fuck do I know? <laughs> That's true. You're definitely not our target audience. Our target audience would not be people that do not like FPS games. My target audience could be that. Our target audience as a I channel like could sufficiently be, be that. We'd be doing a bad job if that was our target audience and this is what we were playing. <clears throat> I mean, if our target audience was only people that like uh, FPS games, then me and Dylan might as well not even be here. Well, yeah. I, I feel like you focus a lot on the FPS. You're, you're breaking up a little bit. Can you repeat and that? Here. Oh, I have no idea what you're saying. You and Dylan also play like really weird games that usually appeal to very few, but appeal very much to those few people. Uh, I don't feel like that's true. Like some of those games I've never heard of before. Uh, but when I started watching them, I really liked them. Like what? Uh, like Long Live the Queen. Oh, that was fantastic. so that was a weird one. But that was literally the very first game that me and him ever played together for this game. Yeah, and like trying doesn't really feel like something I would have thought of right away for a stream. Uh, we played the original one a long time ago. And then Dylan said you guys were going to play some more of those like Long Live the Queen like decision games and dating games and whatnot. That was the plan, but uh, I don't know. I haven't heard from And then that. Final Fantasy happened. Yeah, and then I don't you think lost I'm ever going to see him. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to see him again now. Yeah, I, I think that's probably accurate. It depends how quickly that one lady gets bored of him. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I just think it's funny because, you know, she could watch this at any time. It's and not he like could she watch has this at to any time. I'm not. be... I don't care. Like, I, I don't think... Dylan is so upfront about that kind of shit that I don't think it would be anywhere almost a surprise to her if she found out, like, yeah, Dylan is attracted to you and wants to sex with you. Subtlety has yeah. not ever been in his, in his wheelhouse. That's true. Uh, Dylan may get upset at me for talking like that, but fooling himself if he thinks that he can keep that stuff secret. Yeah, definitely. I already call her his Final Fantasy boo, anyway. I feel like that's why he doesn't wear the hat anymore, because he wants to be cool. It's not because it's hot and itchy. It Those is, are lies. It is that. You've seen it, therefore you know that it's hot and itchy? I, I mean, I've seen the results on his head after a full day of streaming. Oh, okay. It looks like it feels hot and itchy. Okay, fair. I have a suppressor okay. for my AK. I'm in this building, by the way. Oh my. So you're like, what are those noises? Oh, They're me. Yeah, it didn't seem like you were very concerned. I can see the map. Not oh, true. You look at those things. Uh, well, I'm coming here from uh, Heroes of the Storm, which is a very you know, the, one of the, the key components of being good at that game is what they call map awareness, where you look at shit on the map and you go, ah, there it is. Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about being good at that game. 
I think that's one of the games I could probably play that game every single day for the rest of my life, and I would never be good. I mean, I've played that game every single day for like the last three or four years, and I've gotten to like Diamond. Diamond is about where I'm, my skill is. So, I don't know. Are you considering that not being good? Well, I mean, there's Master and Grandmaster tiers both above that. So, you know, I mean, there's. I mean, I'm also saying like the rest of my life, which is a little different from like the last four years. I've played the game since before it came out, Haley. Oh. I know. Excuse me. I know. <laughs> I thought it was going to be really stupid and that it was a dumb idea. And then Blizzard was like, no, you have to play it, though, because you work here. And I was like, fuck. Well, hey, there's a car. To... But they don't see us, I don't think. Uh, sounds like a drug past us. I just want to get to the circle. Probably. I know where I'm heading, but in like a more meandering fashion. Yeah. In a more like casual Sunday morning kind of way. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it just means you're taking your time, you're enjoying life, you're reading the, the funny comics, you're drinking your fresh squeezed orange juice. You ever had a yeah. Sunday morning that was like that? <laughs> no, but I wish. I always see it in like TV shows and movies and stuff, and I go, man, I want that. But most of my life, I've, or not most of my life, but for the last like five years, I've been on a night shift. So <laughs> I don't see mornings unless I'm still awake. Turns out Alan is still watching. He's commenting on, on how <laughs> said I'm not in Grandmaster or Master, so I must, I must, uh, I could get a lot better. And he's like, oh, what? So I'm not in the top 500, therefore I'm shit. <laughs> and the answer is yes, Alan. It is probably I mean, the most effort I've put into a thing without being rewarded at, at, at that high of a tier. I feel like regardless of how bad anyone is, they will always be better than one person. Well, except for whoever's the worst. Me. I mean, that's statistically not possible. To be better than one person every single time, every person. Oh. Yeah, if that person is me. No, no, I, I promise you that a blind man is probably worse than you at Heroes of the Storm because, like, map awareness goes out the window know. if you can't even see the map. They probably listen really well. Like, five clicks to the left. I mean, even people that can't use a mouse have different mice these days. Yeah, but that insinuates that they are somebody who's interested in gaming and goes out of their way to get one of those and learn how to use them. They look really crazy. I'm interested. I wish that I could, like, try one. I promise you, you'd be no good at it. Oh, I'm sure. I, pro I promise you, I would be no good at it. Most everybody that I've ever met. Or in maybe, the world would be no good alternatively, at it. I would be fantastic. And I'd go, this is why I'm terrible at everything. Because I haven't been using these foot based controller methods. Yes. Thus, it would be like a life revelation, and from then on, my self-esteem would be saved. That actually happened for me in Heroes of the Storm. So, yes, I, I was playing healers. I was like, god damn, I'm so shit at this game. And then uh, you're like, no, I'm just shit at healers? Danielle, I'm gonna start Dark Souls again tomorrow. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Read them and weep, Haley. Right on Dark Souls. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I know you're not going to weep, but I, I am. I mean, I have no opinion on that. I enjoy watching that sometimes. I don't enjoy playing it. It makes me sad inside. It makes me happy sometimes to just watch you die a lot. And to just say, like, hey, hey, you died. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed you like that. You know, I don't have that many opportunities to make fun of you. Because if you're dead, surely I'm dead too. But since I haven't played this game, I can just make fun of you. Uh, Dangal says say hello to the grill for me. I'm assuming he means you. And he's misspelled to girl. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I feel about that. But I'm going to take it as a compliment. 
Nangal is is in uh what, what the, what's it called? Denmark or France? Italy, that's what it was. I knew it was a European country. I was gonna get there eventually. Oh that's cool. So he, he miss he misspells a lot of the English English words. I wish I was somewhere cool. What happened to your character's trousers? I think they're just common. Camp can I? Say hello to the grill. Oh no, apparently there was just a grill somewhere around me. I wanted to say hello to. I think I see it. They're driving away. Okay, we're probably fine. I was in that grass field. This is right here. This is where we, the where we yeah, hit number two. Yeah, and I two. totally lost you. Did you when I laid down? I, you were like, "Where do you come?" I hear something. Yeah, I didn't see. You. I mean, I could tell that you were probably in there, but and I didn't just see you. This is just like my favorite, just chilling in here. I just love how people pass you over and over again. Uh, if I don't know, grill oh, is a slang of girl. I oh. have heard that before. Okay, I have never heard that before. Although I don't know internet slang. Uh, I spend a lot of time in like Twitch chats. So I've I've learned some of that language, ah, although some of it is still total gibberish to me. You know, they, there's lots of memes in Twitch chat, and I don't I don't get it. Like the I have to write a 110 word essay to by tomorrow, and I'm here watching this. People just do that over and over again. I'm assuming not everybody has to write a 110 page essay. Well, uh, yeah, I guess the joke is that that's not even a big essay. Oh. So even if you did have to write a hundred word essay, well, a hundred. Oh, think I thought you said a hundred page. I was no. like, man, that guy better get to work on his thesis, I guess. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of work to do in one day. <laughs> No, I'm out in the open now. Dun dun dun! And nobody saw me. Oh, I see somebody. Are you? Is it me? He's running past the house. I'm, I'm at the house. Which I should be doing as well. Where? Is it me? On our right hand side. Oh, okay. Over by those trees. No, it's not you, Jake. <laughs> I was just making sure you weren't saying that he was Have right next to me. Have a little more faith in me, Jake. Well, I was I was pretty concerned that I was I was going to be surprised by somebody even, I didn't see. I mean, even if the faith is not deserved, you know, I feel like most of the time I know who you are in the game. I mean, this is coming from the person who makes directions like they're in the building. <laughs> the building. Okay, but did you see my stream with Steven? I was so much better. I didn't. I saw like a few parts of it and then I had to go because the audio was so bad. And then also I was offended that nobody believed me that the audio was really bad. Yeah, no, I, I didn't believe you at first. I'll own that. Hey, the guy's coming right behind you. He's just running straight at you. Well, see him. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I'm but he's probably moving. gonna come for me now. Yeah, I'll probably die from wasting time trying to shoot him, thinking I was all cool and stuff. Yeah, you better get inside the blue. Yeah, I better. Dylan's girl has non-stick racks. What? It's that Dylan, Dylan just popped in to say that his grill has non-stick racks. Uh, and I would like to say that in the context of it being a woman, very confusing, in the context hey, of it being a grill, uh, no, not, not true, Dylan, you don't own a grill. Jake, I killed someone, Jake! No, you didn't. Me. <laughs> I totally killed him! <laughs> I believe you. I believe you, Haley. I mean, who knows how damaged he was by the blue before you even got to him? And no way! People. I tried to save your life. I did the sniper thing, and you know, maybe hit him one time. Also, in addition to the blue, and then he was like just crawling, and so I killed him. 
So maybe he wasn't the smartest opponent, but still I killed him. This is interesting. Apparently Dangal hates S's at the end of plural words. I don't really know enough about the mechanics of other languages to say if that's weird or not. Yeah, um, what is the least favorite of all of the words that do that? Because maybe I could understand. Well, no, he's just saying, like, plural S's, like, hats. I just, I don't see what's strange about that. I don't either, but I don't know, like, I don't speak any other language, you know? I speak very little German, very little Spanish, That's and very true. little That's true, we're probably just ignorant to how weird that is. Yeah. We're not from a very cool place, you know? I mean, as far as place goes, like, eh. I don't know, Austin's pretty cool, I mean, if you're... Just looking at, like, how cool is a place. Uh, I more meant, like, the United States. Oh, yeah, no, the United States is the worst. In the Italian language, you don't add S at the end of it. See, that sounds weird to me. It sounds like you'd always sound like you were a caveman. They don't but... add S to anything. So, I... Well, they don't add anything. I, I'm assuming it means... Ah, I got shot! Thing. Oh, I see him. Get him! And fully I could aim. Are you crawling to me? Yeah. Killed him. Oh my god! Nice job. Thanks. I didn't mean to sound, <laughs> sound uh, so kind of sick, He looked like he was real, out it. there trying to shoot somebody, so I'm gonna come try and pick you up, but. I don't know who he was pointing his gun at. Maybe he thought he saw me. Oh, well, you know I'm a professional, so as soon as I'm up, I've got your back. Uh, you should definitely, like, run under a tree and try and hit. Circle's getting smaller behind us. I don't like that. Oh, there's a guy right behind the tree over to 250. He must have something on his gun. I don't see him, but I... No, he I moved. He ran down the hill. I hit him once, but... He moved over to the west direction. Do you happen to have, like, a first aid kit? Because I have, like, one painkiller. Is that going to be enough? Probably uh, not, right? Probably not. Do you have band-aids or anything? No. Okay. Uh, I have band-aids here. I'm going to put them on the ground. I do have a first aid kit, but I'm going to be honest. I want to save it. That's fine. I understand. Hopefully I scared off that guy enough by shooting at him. Yeah, we change the ending, we don't add legit. S. My problem is not much for plurals, it's for verbs and third person like I eat and he eats. Well, I mean Dang. That guy just looked at me for a whole minute, but I was uh healing. And I didn't see him, I was also eating a taco. Fuck. I don't even know who hit me. I heard it, but... My bad, dude. I blame the taco. Okay, we'll both blame tacos. I mean, that had most of my attention. How many once... How many ways to you subjugate words? Alan, if you want to make a point about the English language, please use it correctly. <laughs> hey Dylan, if you're still in here talking about how your grill is not sticky, you could come join us. You could. It would be fun. I'm sure he's real convinced. He's probably rushing to his computer right now. Oh, he's definitely at his computer. He's never anywhere else. You don't know. I do. He could be in the hallway. He just came back from getting a snack. He heard the he words. He has a mini fridge you know, so he doesn't have to get up. Us. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So your your premise is he literally is in the act of making sure that he doesn't. What have to if leave he had to go to the bath? Oh, he, I assume he doesn't just wear diapers. He has a mini fridge, Haley. I don't I don't know what you're. How are you confused? Uh, I I don't understand. Does he poop in his mini fridge? I mean, you put it in a bag and then put it in the mini fridge so it doesn't smell <laughs> bad. Why? How does that make it not smell bad? Then your mini fridge smells bad where you put your food. No, the, the what smells bad is the bacteria breaking down all of the all of the stuff and producing. I feel like you just wear a diaper. You wouldn't go through the trouble of like pooping in a bag and then putting it in the mini fridge. I and mean, he could like vacuum seal those things, stick them in the fridge, make sure that they don't deteriorate, so they <laughs> don't smell bad. You know, pockets of gas are what smells bad on your poop. I just feel like that's too far. That's too much. I just want to point out that Don't somebody just joined our chat as I was talking about how you could vacuum seal your shit in the fridge so that it doesn't <laughs> smell bad. Um, I don't know where to go on this path. We can go to the school. That's fun. I don't know where the school is. Is it this building? It's right there. We'll go there then. Okay. Everybody goes for the for the roof. I think it's probably better to go for the bottom floor. Cause then you're not trapped. You know, if you get up on the roof and you don't find a better gun than the next person on the roof, then you're just kind of stuck up there and you can't really do anything to get down. Wow, most of what you just said sounded like some sort of remixed robot, like some sort Good. of new pop song. Well, I have been and working on it. And I understood very little of it. But I feel like you were saying, man, it sucks when you get stuck on the roof with nothing. Was that kind of where you were going? I mean, that's like a remixed pop version of what I was saying. Okay. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> In defense of my point about how I don't want to end up on the roof, here I am on the roof. I'm also going to be on this roof. Oh, cool. I'm going to jump down into this hole because this guy picked up something and it terrified me. I'm going to run away. That's cool. Let me know how it goes. It's not going to go well. I see that you're dying. I am. Don't he do that. He hit me with those bullets. I didn't have much to defend myself with. You should have jumped into this hole. He's trying to punch me now. Yeah, I can't waste those he bullets. He could have just shot me. Yeah, well, I feel like that was a little... a little much. I mean, who knows when he's gonna find another gun and or bullets for the gun he already has, you know? Well, he did have a friend with him, so... I Sounds think he like was alright. confident way to not waste bullets. No, I hate him. I don't accept that. Okay. I'll also hate him for no reason. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Solidarity in our hatred. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I was like, come on. It's crazy if only one of us hates this guy. As long as we both hate him. Yeah, obviously. Then it's then it's a thing, you know. Uh, 4x scope, that could be helpful. I mean, all I have right now is a shotgun. Do I, can I pick up a thing? Hey, thing, can you get in my stuff? <laughs> Did you, you see get that? In my stuff? Yeah, he was resisting your stuff. He's resisting getting in my stuff. It was really rude. I saw it. I really need a backpack, like, very badly. I really want yeah. this first aid kit, but I don't have any way to pick it up. Oh, um, that's really sad. Let's see, and drop the 9mm ammo. I can pick up the first aid kit. Nope. I don't have enough 9mm ammo for that to make a difference. Okay, here I go. <laughs> ah! <It> scared me. <laughs> it's not my fault, I was terrified. Where did we make it to in the last game? Were we number 10? Is that right? Yeah, something like that. Okay.
That'll make me feel slightly better about that number 44. <laughs> well, I mean, we went somewhere just for the excitement of it, right? I, I don't I know. I went somewhere because you recommended going there. I said I had no idea. I just usually have fun there. I mean, if you are able to actually kill people there, it's a lot of fun. Well, we can't. Maybe we shouldn't go there. Uh, yes. I mean, sometimes I get lucky and I'm able to, like, kill one person and I feel really good. Get some stuffs and then maybe I kill another person. Oh, I thought I this don't was a man. Very often. I was like, does that man have a bra on? But no, that's a woman. And yes, she does have a bra on. I mean, that's clearly a woman. She looks like Halsey or something. I don't know what that is, but... I, I think it was just because not all the textures had loaded in all the way. Oh, okay. So it just kind of looked like amorphous and blobby. Well, Halsey is a pop singer that, you know, has crazy hair and it's short a lot of the time. It is short a lot of the time, but not all the time. Sometimes she's no, really tall. No, of course not all the time, because people get bored, right? But... You know, for a long time she had really short green hair. And oh, then it the was, like, hair really short was teal. short. I thought you were saying that she was short sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. It's like, you know, how Dylan's short almost all the time, but every once in a while he's like, I'm going to be super tall today. <laughs> I mean, he could do that. You just have to wear some heels. I don't feel like Dylan would be opposed to doing so. Uh, no, I've seen Dylan in heels. Um, where are we going now? There's our plan. It's on the bottom. Yeah. How about, how about here? Here-ish. Right okay. Around, right around this vicinity. This city. I mean, I'm totally fine with that. Cool. I have no feelings about any of these places. I have no feelings. <laughs> okay. You win. There you go. <laughs> Man, you know, I think the most terrifying part of this whole experience, if I were to do this in real life, would be the, the falling out of the plane thing. Over and over and over again, too. No, I no, mean, no, because you only have to do it one time, because then you die, and then you know how death works in real life, where you do it one time and you oh, really well, get, get to go around again? Be like that military movie where they just keep dying over and over again, they have to, like, relive it until uh, they can Live, die, repeat? Out. I don't know. Or, uh, no, that was the name that they didn't use. Talking about the one with Tom Cruise, Edge of Tomorrow. I guess, like you know, watch those movies and then remember none of the names or actors or anything like that. Yeah, it's uh, Tom Cruise. It's called Edge of Tomorrow. It's where a guy is in the military. He, has, he fights some aliens, but the aliens uh, hit him with this weird thing, gives him these superpowers, and allows him to go back in time when he dies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I assume that that's how it would be, and we would also have to experience death over and over again. I mean, because that just sounds more fun. Or more badass, not more fun. You know, that movie, that, uh, movie is actually based on a manga novel. Really? Yes. That sounds interesting. It's basically a direct adaptation, but nobody knows that, which is a good thing, because it wouldn't, nobody would have gone to see it if it actually, uh, if people knew it was based on a a manga. I believe that's been the big problem of, of video game movies in the past, is that they advertise that that's what they are. Like, Warcraft. I saw that. I saw that in the Blizzard screening. And uh, I was like, man, that movie was okay. I mean, you know, I wasn't blown away by it, but yeah. certainly not bad. And then uh, it's so panned. And I think it's because people knew it was a video game movie. So they knew it was what... They knew that, like, if you're a critic or something... That you worst, should hate that. The worst thing that you could do is disagree with the other critics. Like, a more respected critic makes a decision, you gotta agree with that guy. So, yeah. you know, you know, this is a very safe thing to not like. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Although, I mean, that movie was a little bit long for me because I started playing way later in the series. So I'm not as attached to lore as most people are. I, I just don't like to understand. Collect stuff. What does that What does that mean? The movie was long for you because of it. I mean, uh, a lot of it I could have just cut 
and I, it, it would have been fine. You know what I mean? I don't. But what part of the like, movie? Like, if scene? it was like mm, forty-five minutes shorter, I probably but you, you would just have want it, it to be shorter. You're not like naming a specific part of the movie that you think. Didn't no, I, yeah, I just felt like, man, is this over yet? I mean, that sounds like you had a very negative experience watching the movie. <laughs> I would be interested no, to like see some, what like part of the movie, of the movie that you would recommend would be cut from it. But I don't like to watch super long movies usually. Or if it's like just the plot moves really I hate movies like that. So you like don't like The Godfather and stuff like that? I do like The Godfather. Oh, but The Godfather but is that's... literally the slowest movie ever made. Yeah, but I mean, my family is Italian, so I feel like I, I kind of am required to like The Godfather. And it was just like hyped, and I just had to like it. You know what I, I feel mean? like if it was so hyped, You'd almost not like it. Like, I almost don't like The Godfather just because it's supposed to be like this great cinemat cinematic masterpiece, and I don't think it lives up to the hype. I do. I usually do like any sort of gangster movies and shows. I don't know why. I don't either. It's just exciting. Like I'm Boardwalk watch Empire. Really Did long. you watch that? No, I haven't seen that. That's about gangs. Therefore, you lied to me. Well, I haven't seen it, so I don't dislike it. Me. I got a lot of shows to watch, man. I just discovered that I liked anime. There's so much out there. There's well, you'll never catch up on anime. I've been watching anime since I was like ten, and I've I've never even almost caught up on like current seasons of anime. I Eventually also haven't seen Casino up. or Scarface, so those are also on my list. I haven't seen Scarface. No, which it doesn't look like it's going to be any good to me, but it's, it's not, one of those things you kind of just have to watch. It's not great, but I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of those, they get really overhyped by like film buffs, and then people think like that is the correct opinion, just to just agree with all, all those people. But like a lot of the triumphs in like, The Godfather and uh, Scarface or in the cinematography and the way that the script was designed, which was not common at its time, but not being the first to do something doesn't make it good. Yeah. I really get upset at that argument where people are like, I mean, nobody in its time was doing anything close to this. It's like, I don't give a shit. I've seen it 10 billion times now. Just like, why does that mean that it's still good? <laughs> it doesn't. I like movies I... a lot. Can you tell? I get I get passionate about yeah. fighting, fighting people. You're fighting people? I fight people with my fists about movies. Oh, okay. See, because we're playing this game, I thought you were, you meant like you're fighting people and you're very nonchalant about it. fighting people. I was like, so are you just really kicking their ass or what? Um, no, no, I, I would almost certainly not be kicking their ass where I'm actually fighting people. I don't know. There's that one time you killed like four people, right? All that in a row. Happen. That was pretty cool. You know what's weird is I looked and I saw that I played this game for almost 40 hours now on my Steam page. And uh, I have never played a game where I'm not on camera playing this game. So I've played 40 hours of content of just this game for stream. That's crazy. Seems like a lot. Yeah. I mean, I've played an okay amount outside of stream just because I keep trying to get better. It's just not happening. I have faith one day. I will be better. Thus, I will enjoy it even more. Oh, a puffy jacket! I'm happy for you? I know! Man, I'm getting some serious lag right now. I don't know if you're experiencing that as well. Uh, I'm always experiencing that. Oh, okay. So... That's yes. not, that's just business as usual. All right, well. Until I, you know, call the ISP that I'm not going to name and yell at them. Oh, uh, I know who it is. You do? I have to, right? No, no, I don't think. Maybe. I'd rather we went back to take, talking about how you, like, hate Cajun people than, you know? Oh, man, I do hate Cajun people. <laughs> I don't even, I've never met a Cajun person, but, like... So you have a very informed decision. I mean, I've heard them speak 
that's all I. That's like the entire <laughs> basis of my hatred. Like I don't. Like I like. Uh, like the Cajun spiced food or whatever. Like I think those are good spice blends typically. Uh, that okay. being said, uh, no, they just. I mean, they could literally. They could not come up with a more ridiculous way to enunciate words. <laughs> I can't believe that you tricked me into talking about this again. I figured, you know, you were gonna do something, so... <laughs> I was gonna do something. <laughs> Might as well be something that makes me look like an asshole than you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man, this circle really is just zeroing in right on the middle of this path. That, I mean, the plane flew right through the middle of the circle. A lot of people are not going to be moving. Yeah, that'll be very interesting. Because we'll just be... I imagine through. the bulk of movements but going to come out of the uh, military base, because the plane flew over there first. Yeah, true. There'll be all those people on the bridge. Is this car? Is that... Uh... It looks like it's operable. That's Before cool. you ask, we don't need it. Are you gonna shoot it? Uh, if you think that we need I feel it, like right. I, I feel like I need it. <laughs> I just feel way safer in a car. Literally, couldn't be less safe in a car. I don't feel like that's true. No, I, I said it. So. I. I don't think so at all. I feel like that makes zero sense. I could just be in the middle of a clearing. Yeah, but with nothing, people would be less to threatened my by body. you than the guy in so the car. So you think just because they're less threatened, they're not going to shoot me in the face? Because I'm here to tell you. Oh no, they will eventually. I'm not threatening at all. People still shoot me in the face plenty. I mean, you're moving around. That's threatening enough. In this yeah, but game. I'm like clearly moving around like somebody who doesn't know how to move around in one of these games. If you actually watched my screen, uh, it would make you sick. It has. That has happened. <laughs> There's a shock. There's a cheek pad for a sniper rifle I'll never find, but I'll pick it up anyway. I'm very glad to know that. There's so many sniper rifle attachments and so few sniper rifles. I yeah, think it's very I know. Strange. That always makes me sad because sniper rifles are my favorite in in most games that I play that are like FPS games. I don't think I would be good with a sniper rifle in this game, but still, I wanna. I wanna. Yeah. Moving up to the north. Just so you know. Yeah, I'm moving slightly behind you. You know, Do we have any word on away? when Twitch has given us ad revenue for affiliates, or...? I have no idea. I was kind of surprised they actually moved forward with the subscriptions thing. Yeah. Well, I had read that was a thing. Yeah, so I was not like, surprised by it. They had a post for a while that's been like... Eventually, we'll have this feature unlocked for affiliates and for... Uh... No, just for affiliates, right? It was, it, it was already on... Uh, partners, and they were yeah, all locked this for right. affiliates. But that's also the case with uh, ad revenue. That's been the same way for just as long, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Where did that serve move to? We're still good. Well, we're gonna get moved back to the houses we've already moved. I'm sure Dylan knows more about that kind of stuff than I do. Probably I really not. don't ever expect to ever make money, uh, and I mean, I've probably spent like $600. I just get to have fun and make games. I would definitely like to make money. I mean, yeah, sure. I can't hear any of what you're saying. What about what about now? Oh yeah, totally fine. One hundred percent fine. Oh okay. I forgot that I switched the setting on this, so I need to be close to it. Because otherwise, it was picking up 
stuff from the whole room. Oh. So now I can't just like be wherever I want. Like lean way back. It's probably better it's to like get into the habit of, of playing in, <laughs> in frame of where your camera would be anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's something that I've had to kind of get used to as well, is making sure that I'm always kind of sitting around a spot where my camera can see me. I'm fairly used to it. I mean, I've made multiple videos at this point. I've yeah. probably made like 14 or 15 hours of video. It's just that it takes like three days to upload. For YouTube? Yeah, for me, where I'm at, because of my connection. And then it'll just be like, eh, I'm just gonna not upload this. Like, okay. Really need to do more YouTube work for our channel as well. So much work. It is. It's a lot of work. It would be nice to be getting paid for it. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Especially since I don't have a job, you know? I like. I will eventually hey, need money. I feel like I do lots of stuff also on Twitter. So, you know? And then I have to go to work too. Like, blah. What are we talking about now? We're talking about things that we wish we got paid for, but uh, we don't and never will. Never will? I mean. Are we just leaving know. Dylan with all the PayPal money and he can just take it home? <laughs> Uh, well, that's for entertaining, right? It's not necessarily for specifically content editing. Maybe. Like, it wouldn't be like an hourly job, right? I don't know. I don't either, actually. Hey, there's a car. Yeah, it's a little buggy. Can we shoot it? They might have seen me. By might have seen me, I think they definitely. Oh, good. I, you know, I had that last bullet just in case. Yeah, I know. I saw you shot that tire real good. <laughs> they really, uh, they, they didn't really respond at all. They, they just kind of stood around and let me kill them. So it was, it was very convenient. They didn't even like run for cover or anything. Very Man. nice. We were probably destined to be friends. And now you have killed them. Oh, these guys you were destined to be friends with? I mean, probably, if they just stood there and let you kill them. Well, they're dead now. So... Yeah. I hate these we'll guys. We'll never know now. The oh, okay, well, then I hate them, too. That's right. Oh, there's, like, way more dead bodies over here. Well, that doesn't sound comforting. That sounds quite ominous. Putting so much shit on the ground. <laughs> I mean, more than likely, nobody's still hanging out over here. But be careful. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, man, somebody just left everything. Uh, yeah, they do that more often than Not I, I guess. That's one of those things that I'm doing wrong. Probably. I'm okay with it. It's just like the collector in me. Like, you have stuff? Give me your stuff. Oops. That's what I need. Okay. All right, we heading out. We are. In fact, I'm gonna take this these guys' buggy. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I wasn't gonna ask, but I thought about it. <laughs> like, man, but buggies are kind of hard to drive. Motorcycles, I really love driving them. I like them when they have the sidecar. I feel like they're too unstable without it. I, I love that they are unstable. I feel like it's just way more fun that way. We're gonna drive around on the log side so that we're not. I'm really concerned because there's so much space between 
where the circle was and where the circle is on this side. Which yeah. means that there's a lot more people that have to move over here. Which is why I want the car so that we can maneuver more quickly. Because peeps are going to be all about... I'm explaining my thoughts out loud so that people can tell me that I'm wrong eventually about why I thought these things. Oh no. I also think these... Oh. We're fine. Well, we are very graceful at uh, crashing. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean that crashing? That was just an elegant way to get down the hill. Yeah. He's so classy. That's what they tell me. Everybody says that all the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm very sure they do. Especially when I start my stream with burping. They really... <laughs> I mean, the top hats and monocles come out all day for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Dude, I do not like being in this field. I did not mean to skew this far. I love field. Yeah, but Always not when we're not the first ones in it. True. I hate this field. I hate that field! <laughs> yeah! That field killed my parents! Oh man, too far. I'm glad these guys brought this buggy over. Hey, there's a guy. Oh. Which side is he on? Uh, there he is, isn't helpful. Northwest, he's on a motor. I'm, we're he going probably northwest. probably is already on the uh, other side of the hill. I don't know what you mean. We're going northwest. You should just go. You should just keep going because they see us. I'm not stopping. I'm just I'm confused. Okay. Well, they were directly behind us when we started going this way. Oh man, makes me nervous. They're probably still very much aware of our existence. They didn't forget that we exist yet. I mean, we went over the hill and we were on a vehicle. I would have forgotten. I would have disregarded them. Especially if they had a Haley who told them that they existed in the first place. <laughs> and that they were heading in the direct- and that they were located in the direction where they were already heading. I don't think that's them, actually, because they're not on a motorcycle, as I was told. That... Well, the motorcycle's right here. Oh, there it is. Hey, you may want to be careful, because they just killed me, and they're still, like, over there. Oh my god. Where are you looking? They're, like, down the hill to your right. Oh, really? Then I was shooting somebody else. Somebody totally different. I'm just gonna run. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. There's not even a reason to the, this direction. So, I wonder who I was shooting. Probably another person on their team. Yeah, there were like two people just chilling by this uh, tree. But they were on the wrong side of it from where I was. And I thought, this will be my chance. My one shot. You only get one shot. I don't know enough of that song to actually make it that song. We'll pretend. I appreciate it. That was such a cool moment, Jake. Thanks. I don't know if that's more of a reference on that song because I literally only know that one line. It's not. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna call Dylan. Do it. Doing it. I wasn't asking you if I should. I was just telling you I was doing it. Yeah, well, I just want you to now know that you're doing it because I told you to. Hey Dylan, I'm leaving you a message on the middle of the stream because I don't know for whatever reason you denied my call. Uh, Way to be an ass face, buddy. Nailed he, it. He, uh, 
He declined to answer. <laughs> uh, is he still watching also? Uh, I mean, it says he's logged on to the stream, but my guess is that he's not, Who knows? not watching. Man. A lot of trouble in paradise with you two. First he says he doesn't care about your life. And then well, he rejects your phone call. I mean, to be fair, he and I have never really cared about each other's life. I guess at least you have honest communication about how much you don't care about each other's lives. Well, you know, we're both, like, dead inside and stuff, so, like, events of the day, things like that, like, what's happening with you, all that kind of stuff, we just don't really do it. That sounds nice. Yeah. I never know what to say back to that kind of stuff. I try real hard, though, to come up with my own little polite chatter. Never works out for me. I always just sound awkward. People sit in silence for a few too many seconds. Where are you at? Uh, it's just went for a swim. Oh, okay. I was gonna blow you up. Found a spot where I can't swim any farther. Well, that's not very interesting. Well, we could have could have upsold it for the stream, but. <laughs> I guess they can't all be gyms, huh? Where are we going? Not here. Okay. Sure. No. Okay. Not here. Okay. Jump. I wish I understood the psyche of the person who's the, like a general Twitch or YouTube watcher of content. Well, I mean, I, I'm sure that there are quite different groups of, of people that watch Twitch heavily. You know, like, a lot of people just watch League of Legends. So, I mean, it wouldn't just be like one person get all the insights you need. I think there must be, for in order for the Twitch model to work, there must be some target audience that they have, like, all of their content must appeal generally to this person in order for that content to be successful. Yeah, I guess, like, per channel, though. No, no, no. Like, as a I whole, mean, their like business the creative... model. There's all sorts of different kinds of streams. They can't just have, like very specific niche markets spread out over every channel because like there must be some general overarching thing that brings them to the content source in the first place like my dad's not going to troll through youtube to find funny videos that's he won't do that it doesn't matter like oh well there's a, a youtube video over here he would love this channel like he's not the kind of person who's going to be watching videos on youtube in the first place Okay. I, I just want to see okay. who the person who's watching videos on Twitch. Like, I, I want to know their mentality and like, what is it like? What is the content that? What is it in the content that you see that makes you go like, oh, I should follow this? So I, I guess that means that you don't actually watch Twitch. No, I'm I my follow our channel. Oh, and oh, okay. Hellboy Twenty Five. Because uh, I used to have this really fun joke that I would do, where like as soon as he would, as soon as we started hosting him, I would go to his channel and then post a thing where I was like, "How about 25 is my favorite streamer," and then I would leave. <laughs> uh, and I would, I did that like every day for like two or three weeks, uh, uh, to the point where he just thought I was making fun of him, and then I stopped doing it. 
Oh, Jake. I didn't feel like that's where that story was going. Uh, I didn't intend to actually make fun of him. I just thought it was real fun to do. Uh, yeah. But then he thought I was making fun of him, so I was like, okay, I better cut that out. Man, did he just, like, straight up tell you, like, hey, stop making fun of me, bro? No, I just, I said it, and then I could see that he looked sad when he read ch chat, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm out. Oh. That makes me very upset. You know that I'm, like, overly affected by things like that? Well, I did say it on purpose sad. to piss you off, so... <laughs> I don't know. I watch Twitch, but I only watch tournaments. Yeah, I, I literally did not have a Twitch like account, so. Uh, and then sometimes I just watch people that, you know, somebody told me like, "Oh my God, check out this chick. She's like insane." People like that that are just weird or do weird gimmicky stuff. You know, just for ten minutes though. And then I'll watch all the tournaments for, like, Hearthstone and HGC. I mean, my understanding is, like, based on the amount of... Because, like, I can I can see our analytics pretty well. Like, I mean, across several different places, but I can more or less put together a pretty good picture. Uh, and, like, our views to follows ratio is not the worst. It's about uh, 50 to 1. Uh... Which I don't feel like is bad, but I also don't know like what constitutes an individual view. Uh, yeah. And I don't know like. I um, don't either. Like if if it was just up on several browsers, not logged in, is that still a viewer? Yeah, I don't know. Like if I log out and log back in, do I constitute as one view, and then now I'm a new view? Yeah, I don't know. Um. But uh, I feel like 50 to 1 getting a follow is not bad, but I'm basing that off of like what I know to be like a subscriber rate for YouTube videos. But I know yeah. that each video that you upload, you know, that's like total views on YouTube do not mean the same thing as total views on Twitch. Because obviously our total views across video, like each video that we upload has very low viewer counts for what YouTube would see, but that's true for everything. Like. You know, a YouTuber who generally has hundreds of thousands of views might come here and get a couple of thousand views. Right. Um, so I don't know, like, what things look like. And I, I want to see what... Like, in order for there to be so many people getting so many views on Twitch, there must be somebody out there, like, following an ass load of channels. Plus, we get follows from people and then we never see them again. So, like, there yeah. are plenty of accounts out there that must have hundreds of follows. Uh, and, like, what is that person's mentality? Clearly they're on Twitch very often uh, yeah. watching, like, 10 minutes of content here. Oh, that was funny. I should leave them a follow. Is that just, like, I liked that video? Like, I'm just leaving a, a like like I would on Facebook? I just I don't know what the mentality yeah. of the average viewer is. I mean, when I would view random stuff, that's kind of how I would do it. Like, you know, I don't really want to watch any more of this right now. I'm good on that. But I appreciated it. It was funny. And so I'll leave them a follow because, you know, it doesn't take much effort for me to just follow somebody. But I will not follow people that I did not like. So I feel like that's the case. Like, a lot of people follow with the idea that, like, I watched that for a while and I liked it. I'll leave them a follow. Whether or not they ever intend to watch any more content by them again, maybe if they see something that's like, oh, I love that game and nobody ever streams it, then they'll go watch it. Yeah, right. But um, I think for the most part, that just generally doesn't happen and then i also wonder like what is it about certain content creators that makes people go like oh yeah i watch this guy on twitch like yeah and i mean people that are even haven't done it for that long like uh dr disrespect came up really quick have you ever seen that stream uh, i mean of I've course heard, not because you don't know, i've heard steven sure. gush about him like he's second coming of jesus Okay, well, I don't share the same feelings as Steven, but it's quite amazing 
you know, how quickly he was able to build a following, and it makes me feel like, man, we must not be very interesting compared to these people. Well, and see, that's the thing, is I've, I've reviewed the content of our stream compared to other streamers, and I would say that our channel, on average, is of much higher quality than many streams. Like, just going through random streams that have, like, 100 views, 200 views, where I would like our channel to be at, I don't, I don't understand why anybody's there. Yeah, that's true. But then, I know that our viewer retention is very low, but I feel like a lot of that is because of an aspect of community. Like, the channels that I really don't get, I don't see people commenting on chat, like, at all. Or, I don't see the streamers replying to chat at all. Which makes me think, like, well, they're not propagating this their popularity, the community of their stream is pop propagating their popularity. Like, they haven't done... They, they've made a platform for people to come and talk about the thing taking place, and then talking about it is what has drawn people here. Right. But then I don't know how to repeat that success. Like, on YouTube and stuff like that, I can see, like, here's a thing, I put it out there, and if a comment on the video is what makes that video explode, that's fine, but... It's, it's going to grow over time and have, like, an infinite possibility to gain that kind of a thing because the video will never go down. But I just don't get what, what causes that to be a thing in Twitch. Yeah, I don't know. It does amaze me, too, sometimes, some of the streams that just have such a regular following that I'm like, what is even happening in this stream? Uh, also, I could like, the, link you an example later. Yeah, uh, well, and I've, call anybody out. I've seen a lot of people that where it's just like so much yelling, so much talking like shit, that like just really. Yeah, I don't get those stuff. gimmicks like shock jocks and just like ragers. I don't, I don't get that. But I, I mean, mean, I talk shit a lot, but I would never each talk. Their own, you know, I don't, I don't think anything that I've ever said has been filled with like actual hate. Whereas when I listen to these people, I mean, it just sounds like the most repulsive kind of bullshit. Really? Yeah. What is drawing people here? Anyway, those are the kinds of thoughts that fill my brain all the time. <laughs> I mean, I'd say we're, our channel's growing at a fairly consistent. Yeah. I'm not concerned about it. I don't know. There's there's a threshold somewhere that we're gonna have to cross where we go from like this is a this is a fun thing to stream where it's like well this this could this could potentially make money and I, we're not even close to that yet but yeah right um, I know I feel I mean based on some of the people that I've seen I think. Like, I don't understand why, and I, I, that kind of bothers me. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to just bitch and moan about how I don't understand <laughs> Twitch. Because that would definitely be the kind of content I would see not getting a lot of views. But, like... <laughs> Right after punching babies? No, nah, I can see punching babies get punched. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to actually punch a baby. Yeah, I mean, you'd have I've, to. Go I've seen, all I've out. seen people on Twitch. I, I mean, I, I understand that the audience, for whatever reason, wants absolutely horrible violence committed towards things in unspeakable ways. I would just comment on it in order to draw shock value. That seems like, oh, haha, -ha, that's that's a joke because obviously, you got inhumane punch a baby in the face. Right. Apparently, the, what people want is like, no, they just—they're tired of hearing people talk about it. They just want to see a baby get punched. <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad that I have all of you guys, because alone, I am not very interesting. But I do find you guys interesting. You know, I'll watch some of the streams multiple times. Yeah, I don't know. I I appreciate the sentiment, but I wonder, like, at what point... I get 
friends not wanting to watch other friends stream, even if it was like, if my buddy had a YouTube channel, I would probably not watch it, even if it was directly content that I enjoy. Oh, I would. Uh, but that's that's like a really bad friend move. You wouldn't watch the YouTube channel of one of your friends with content that was relevant to you. I mean, that seems like man, it's like uh, almost. No. Going out of your way to not enjoy things you might enjoy. Hey, it's difficult to explain that mentality if you don't already understand it, but... Um, I feel like I'm more interested if it's my friend than, you know, I want to watch them. Also so I can judge them and be like, this was really great, or I'm going to make fun of them. Where was that from? Get down. Get down. Don't see them, Jake. I I know where they are more or less, but I don't know where they I don't know exactly. I see them. Where are they? They're throwing grenades at us, they're directly north of us. Three indicators. Trees? Uh Is, I, the I don't see the them anymore, marker? but Yeah, the one I'm directly in front of right now. I'm just I'm just walking. Yeah. There's two of them. Should I walk towards you? Yeah. Into the smoke? In the smoke and stay there. There's more than two of them? Because no, two there's... of them are dead. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You got one of them? Yeah. I'm proud of you, Haley. Yeah, see, I was waiting. I was like, come on, man. I did a thing that most people wouldn't be excited about, but I am. No, I, I just didn't know that you killed him. I was I was looking around for him. I'm totally taking those punk glass. Welcome. You're welcome to. I know. You can't stop me. I wasn't gonna. Well, you couldn't. I uh, can't. Okay. You know, I'm feeling real fly because I killed somebody, so... I'm, I'm taking them. No, you, you, they're all yours. Did you get them? Oh, of course, yeah. Okay, I'm proud of you. You can't stop me. I wasn't gonna. Let's see. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Where's that other guy? They have like a regular pistol. Scar, but have a What? I want the scar. Are you gonna take it? Because if uh, not, I got an M16, so I'm pretty pretty fine on. Do these guys have like a regular pistol? Uh, they just didn't have a pistol period. I still have the revolver. I probably could have replaced it at some point, but I never did. Yeah, I mean, I usually end up using just one gun. But, you know, I also am not very good, so maybe that's not what you're supposed to do. I mean, I sometimes like I'll switch when I'm going into like buildings, I'll go to the shotgun. I like to keep my options open, like uh, that game where we made it to two. I was shooting people with my suppressed pistol because it had a suppressor on it, you know. Oh yeah, that was really cool. Um, which I couldn't have been—I couldn't have done on my other guns because I never found suppressors for them. So you know, stuff like that is kind of nice. I think—I think maybe that's yeah. I mean, that's wrong. a great argument for keeping multiple options open. That was pretty cool because I couldn't do anything but sit there. Because, I mean, we know that I would just miss, and then they would see us. Whereas you had the option to miss, and it'd be okay. Well, unfortunately, because of the gun that it was, I I didn't miss every time, and they still killed us. Because, you know, pistols. 
No, they don't do something yeah. strange. Yeah. We can just ignore that part. I did miss many times, though. Because, you know, I'm me. My aim's shit. I want to be up on top of this hill. Man, I this, agree with that. this circle really went out of its way to, to help us out win this game. It has zeroed in on just the weirdest spot, uh, considering <laughs> where this plane went, and uh, it's really, really nice. Because I think we were like the only people that made the hop over to the island at the start of the game. Yeah, for some reason when I play alone, often the circle just ends up where I am. I still lose a lot, but, you know, it's nice. I'm like, thank you. Thanks, but when game. I play with other people, not so much. The game wants me to succeed. I just haven't done it yet. Incredibly dumb spot to be, but yeah. Well, then it's incredibly unexpected of us. No, that's exactly why it's super stupid to do. Hey, can you heal at all? Yeah. Okay, you should do that. I can do that. I just, you know, I was, I was feeling so badass. Didn't feel like I needed it after I got my one kill. Nah, you yeah. definitely, definitely need it. <laughs> You're very almost dead. I'm surprised I'm not seeing people down in the army base right now. I came up here to kind of keep an eye on those people, but I guess everybody's probably just looking out for it. Yeah. I'm going to just look on the other side. My guy just used his left foot to scratch his right leg. What? My guy scratched his leg. I I don't see th how that's interesting. I don't know how else to say that. I don't see <laughs> it's just why cool... you exclaimed that. It was a very cool idol animation that I had not seen before. <laughs> okay, okay. It's like the highest quality thing I've ever seen in this game. I was just thinking, like, have you never scratched your leg? I don't this a weird concept? But I, mean, I understand now. I'd, I get it. I would generally put stuff like high quality idle animations past a game like this where it's like run around and shoot stuff. But uh, yeah. that's that's very impressive to me that they took the time to, to program in that. That probably well, goes I mean, to show my disdain like for I'm games of this genre. But... Yeah. I generally find that the core product of these games is all that matters and that the flavor and stuff around them is just left by the wayside. Not that the core product is wrong, obviously it's very successful, but you know, they, they generally make few to no changes on what that experience is in shooters, you know, which is why I've not been interested See, in See, my opinion is far less sophisticated. I'm just not very good at them, so they make me feel real bad. You know, it hurts my feelings. Yeah, I, I also experienced some of that. Man, this circle is very small for 23 people. We're very fucked. You need to keep moving. You need to not be where you are. Alright, I'm moving. Yeah, you definitely want to get, get much closer to where I am. So that we are not. I'm so far fast. Apart. Look at how fast I am. I'm looking at how fast you are. I'm so fast. I'm looking at it. Okay, good. Appreciate it. Hey, Haley, did you see how fast you were? I was looking at it. Uh, yeah, I know. That's why I brought attention to it.
See, now here's the problem. With you being where you were, I needed help. You were nowhere near me. And now you are late to respond to the scene, and you're just gonna get blown up by the same guys. I didn't see them. Where were they? Uh, uh, right behind the barrels, directly in front of you. Bah! I wanted to kill them. I mean, you're already dead, but I wanted to kill them. Right, 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 right. Or maybe just like hit them once. You just gotta make sure that if we're if we're running a long distance, you gotta you gotta try and stay approximately <laughs> like within response range. But did you see how fast I was? Oh, Haley, I don't know if you noticed this, but you were really fast. Um, I didn't is, want to freak you out with my fastest, you know? It is now 1030. Do you have to go? Uh, yeah, I probably should. 1013 yeah. is, is what I meant to say. Oh, no, I feel like we should do one more then. Okay. Because 1030 is just, you know, for some reason, that's the time that I'm like, nope, I'm asleep now. Except for I've been playing way too much Saints Row lately, so I've actually been up quite late. Hey, I see a picture of my face on on Twitter. Oh, really? That's yeah. so strange. It's not. I see it there a lot, actually. I know nothing about that, of course. Yeah, there's not very many pictures of your face. I had to start making pictures of your face. You should take more pictures of your face. Uh, I don't take pictures. Not that I'm not photogenic or anything. I just... I don't, I don't see the point of capturing images on film. Um, that are yeah, not... I definitely don't see you as the selfie stick type. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't... Like, I don't... I don't know what a moment where, like... Man, I, I hope everybody can get involved in this and take part in this with me. Like, I don't... I don't know what that is. <laughs> and I don't even know if that's, like, the thought that people have, or if it just, like, scratches an itch at the back of their mind that they don't even understand themselves, but, like, the community aspect of, like, taking a picture of a personal moment and sharing it with everybody, I really don't understand. For me, I don't know. I like to look back on those a long time after, you know, like, three years later. And then reposted and talk to those people again that I haven't talked to in years. Uh, I don't have a selfie stick. I don't go that far. But I do like pictures. Um, I only know two people, and I talk to them every single day. So, I know... A really, I, I guess I see no appeal to that. And any friends that I've had and I've gotten rid of in my life, I've chosen to get rid of. It's not like... Oh man, where's where's so and so? I wish I'd heard from them. I just like no, I, I'm I'm tired of them. I have a lot of people like that for me that we just sort of don't talk anymore because I was also just a very different person. And then I got real boring, I think. So now <laughs> I got I'm just real like, boring. Now I just like play video games at home, and you know I don't interact with those people anymore. But it's not that I dislike them. So it's nice to look back on some of the more fun moments and be like, man, I survived those really dumb decisions. And I had a lot of fun. But now I just want to, you know, eat Cheetos and play video games. I don't make dumb decisions. Uh, you can imagine that I do quite often. I only make the smartest of decisions. See, I don't make like dumb, drunk decisions or anything like that. Just more in the moment, make illogical decisions that it, I think are, you know, the right choice. Yeah, I would, I would never make Especially when any, I'm driving. I would never make a stupid decision. Like, uh, you know, every time I quit my job, it's because uh, that's the best decision in my life at that moment, <laughs> you know? Uh, or like, hey, folks, you know what would be really great is if I moved back in with you. Three times before before I'm 25. <laughs> when would that be spectacular? Yeah, but it sounds like your mom's like really cool. Yeah, she's pretty chill. My dad is not though. He's the opposite of chill. I mean, I could live with at my dad's house forever. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think my dad would like that so much. I don't feel like. A compulsion to move out of my folks' place. I guess is like I don't. 
I'm not like ashamed of living with my parents or anything, and like the rent is cheap, it makes life a lot easier. Yeah. Um, well, see, me and my dad are just best friends, so it's like even if I didn't like live here like I do right now, um, as soon as I go back to my real house, I'll still be over here like three or four times a week. That's how it was when I moved out. Just come back, eat food. Sometimes I bring laundry because I know how much my love my mom loves to do my laundry. You know. It would be a shame to deprive yeah. her of that. We definitely always bring laundry, but we go to a laundromat. And we just do it all at once. I don't think that my dad would just do all my laundry. I don't feel like he'd just be like, okay. But maybe moms are different that way. and You can get away with that. More so, my dad will be like, let me make you this incredible meal that took me, like, 45 minutes to make. Oh, my dad does that, too. My dad does this weird thing where he really likes cooking, but he hates eating food. So he'll, like, make a dish and then watch everybody eat it and be like, is it good? And we'll be like, you should eat it and find out. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, just tell me. Just tell me. My dad used to be a chef, so he just enjoys, like, the aspect of everything being super pretty and... All the different flavors and whatnot, and he's like really into organic stuff. Ah, gross. Whatnot. That sounds that sounds like the worst. I was I was going from being like on board with everything you were saying <laughs> to being instantly turned off by the idea of eating organic food. I mean, I like organic food. It tastes good. I don't like things that are more expensive. I like to pay minimal amounts. I mean, for things that I'm just going to ingest. I'm very much a science-based person. And there is no science on organic food, so I'm very much against the idea of organic foods. As from a taste I, aspect, if you if you make, want to make a moral argument about it, I have no footing to stand on because I don't I don't have morals. So I just feel like wouldn't you just be like neutral though on the subject? Why are you why are you anti organic? Uh, because what did organic it's, ever do to you? Uh, I, I don't. I hate anything that has like like people believe a thing about it based on nothing. Uh, which is why I like politics so much because everybody nobody ever thinks about what their political beliefs are they just inherit them and never question them or think about them and that's why people get upset if you like the the rules about politics and religion you never talk about them is because uh, people don't think about them and when you question their beliefs that they've had and never had actually thought to question them themselves uh, they get upset and confused and nobody likes that yeah that does sound like just a real bummer. I don't talk about politics because I don't know anything about them. And I don't like to pretend that I because it would be real obvious. I think that's fine as long as you understand that and don't take it upon yourself to like vote or anything. Like as long yeah. as you have an understanding. Vote. I don't know enough to make informed decisions. I really right, don't like exactly. it when people are like, hey, I heard this one thing. Uh, I'm going to vote and I'm going to vote for this guy. Uh, that, that, that I don't like. Hey, there's people uh, Um. Hey, Haley. I'm you... really glad that you didn't see that. Hey, Haley. You were on I fire. I went out like a superstar. I was so cool. Hey, Haley, does it make you, you know, feel better to know that like the guy that you guys. shot was on fire as well? Well, I didn't shoot him. I threw a Molotov cocktail at him, so was... it does make me happy that he's on fire. He was very injured. I killed him with like two shots from my pistol. That's good. Uh, I could have just shot him in the face, but instead I was like, nah, light him on fire. I hit a car. Much better than my micro Uzi. Well, good. Hey, I'm shot at. Oh, my sacrifice was for nothing. I mean, I killed a guy. Yeah. All right. I lit him on fire, right? You lit him on fire, which made it very easy for me to kill him. I kind of wasn't expecting more people to come because I killed him instead of putting him down. Which yeah. I believe means that he didn't have any teammates, but I guess I didn't think for a second like, oh, what if other people are in the area? Yeah, I mean, even when somebody kills my teammate, I usually try and go at least punch that guy in the face, you know, just in solidarity. Well, no, I mean, this guy didn't have a teammate left because he just died instead of going down. Because you go down, oh, right. and so your teammates can pick you up. Unless you're the last guy, then you just die. And, you know, I had a gun, and it had bullets. And I just 
looked at the guy and he just sat there for a good two seconds and then I just threw that at him. I don't even know what happened. I could have just shot him so easy. Even I, I could have shot him. I mean, you lit him on fire. Like, you know, I would beat yourself up. You did more damage to him than you do to most people who kill you. <laughs> sure. Um, but I think that's it, right? Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. We can fit another one in, maybe, if you want. Okay, What's yes. Up? What's up? Yes, one more. If, let, let's do, like, uh, somewhere really crowded. Somewhere really somewhere crowded? Really fun. Maybe the military base? Maybe Watertown? Yeah, I mean, when Wesley gets home, I may actually get back on if he wants to play. If you're just around and want to play, not necessarily even to stream, just to kill uh, some people. I'm probably going to bed, like, pretty soon after this. I forgot you've got to like do that whole thing every day where you stream all day long. I do. Uh, yeah, I do. I do a lot. Sounds of, exhausting. I do. I, I like. I do more work now than I did when I like had jobs and stuff. It's yeah, really, right. Really weird. Uh, although a lot of that is just playing video games, which is hard to complain about. But uh, I don't know. It's hard to find games that also fit my style of like well, what I want to do for streams. It's not just playing the video game either, right? You have to kind of be entertaining, and I'm just, I'm not good at that part of it, so that I just, seems like exhausting to me, always trying to make something interesting when it's not necessarily interesting. I just try and, like, open the floodgate between my brain and my mouth and just, like, let it pour word soup out and just hope that, you know, enough funny stuff is swirling around in there. Oh, this will be perfect for military base. See, if I did that, which sometimes I do, it just becomes a lot of things that don't make sense and are just inaccurate and just not true. Like, I feel like I'll try to relate to something someone's saying, and then it's just like, it's pretty obvious that you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you I'm probably trying shouldn't to, like, have even tried. inform people. I just say what I'm trying to do and then, like, make up a narrative about a thing in the game or something. I find it much easier with games like this, though, where you actually do have to kind of talk about what you're doing already. Mm. Unless you're me and you just say, like, you know, he's over there. I but find it, I find it very difficult it. in games like this. I basically just, like, this has definitely been a video where I've just, like... 100% just turned off the filter in my brain that's like, maybe you should formulate thoughts on what you're saying before you say them. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, that's probably very obvious because I'm pretty tired and like the number of topics that I can just remember that we've talked about in this video is just like an astronomically large number. <laughs> um, so I think, I think that's probably pretty obvious. That being said, I think that's probably still better than just, like, keeping to myself what I would normally be thinking about. Yeah, I think so. You know, now everybody gets to know about my deep-seated fears about the, about the Twitch algorithms. Yeah, true. And how I just don't understand young people these days. Man, you almost just got a face full of bullets. I saw that. Did you see my quick reaction? No. Turn, look at you. Turn, look the other direction. And then I realized that it was you. But oh, like, really? if you were a real bad guy, I'd be dead. I turned, looked at you, saw you were Haley, and then decided not to kill you. Yeah, see, I, I don't know. I just have, like, such a delayed reaction to all the things. A sniper rifle. Well, that's cool. Can be, if we survive long enough for me to use it. Of course I get, like, the good gun when we're out here purposely trying to make a chaotic game. Right? They're not coming that way. Oh. I mean, they are behind you, like, right outside to your left, but... Oh. I mean, I told you where they were. Yeah, and then my brain was like, right outside to the left. 
You're outside now. They're probably to your left. And then I was dead. Well, that's about what we expected. Yeah. Okay, well, that, that was a really great thing to end on. <laughs> that rounds out the stream pretty well. That's a pretty accurate assumption of like, how all <laughs> these games kind of go. So, uh, Barry and Haley's miraculous return to to Twitch, possibly. Uh, the next stream that we have is me tomorrow at 11. So that is 12 and a half hours from now. I don't, I like giving people like based on where we are currently in time because I feel like it's difficult to say 11 a.m. Central Time because that doesn't mean anything to most people. Especially if you're in like Italy. Does Central even mean that to you? Who knows? That's not important. I'm trying to end the video right now. I don't need to do this brain soup thing anymore. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're done. We'll be back. Well, See you later. Fun. Bye. Bye.